Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in MuleSoft. Now, <clears throat> in this tutorial, we are going to look at one more important component, which is the core feature, and uh, that's nothing but the set variable. So, if you click on the core components and scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you will see three transformers remove variable, set variable, and set payload. In this video, we are going to talk about remove variable and set variable. So to add the value, to add the connector to the favorites, just highlight it, right click. Since I've already added it, so I said remove favorites, or you can just add favorites. Click on the favorites, it's there. So let's drag and drop the variable, the, uh, the connector. See here, the use case is something like this. I have two variables, say A and uh, B. And I want to set the value a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20. Okay. Now to do that in MuleSoft, you are using a connector. Say so replace a with a connector. Okay. Cool. Same goes even here as well. So the connector. And that connector name is this. This connector name is nothing but your set variable. Okay. So. I'm going to set the value a and here I'll just the display name is set value a and the name is I'll give the variable name as var a and I'll give the value as 10. I'm just going to copy the connector and paste it. If you copy and paste a connector, you'll always get the name as copy of remember that. Okay. So I'm going to remove this and I'll say value b and I'm saying saying the 20. So I've set two values, which is nothing but var a, var b. Okay, cool. We have two values. Now let's add a logger. And I want to access the value, which means I want to access the value of var a. So I'll do one thing. I'll just add var a, save it and I'll deploy it. Okay, let's see what happens run the project. Okay, it's getting deployed. It's getting deployed and it's deployed. Good. See, it's deployed as usual. Right. So, um, now I'm going to make a call for those who have already are not aware of it. Uh, I think in my previous video, I've see, you have seen how to frame this URL, but just in case, I'm going to show that again. Okay, there you go. This is the host and port, and this particular value is nothing but the URL that has been set over here. Okay, cool. So let's make a call. If you make a call, obviously there is no response sent back, and hence you won't see any response here. But uh, where do you have this 200? Okay, which is good. Now let's go back to this guy and on the console you can see that oh the value has not been accessed i had set the value as 10 here but there's no value why in each new in each technology there's a syntax of how to access a value in web methods you had a percentage symbol in few technologies you have a dot notation for example if there is uh, any uh, object value that if you want to access any methods, then you use the dot method. Say in the list, in the list fun, uh, object, you want to access the method of sort, something like that. So you say list dot sort and you pass the values. Okay. In a similar way to access a variable within MuleSoft, you will say vars dot and this particular value. That's how you access it. Let's check it out. Let's do one thing here and I'll say vars dot vars dot. But will it work? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna save it. You guys know that if you save it, it will automatically get deployed. You guys know that very well. So it got deployed. Let me make a call. So I made a call. See, oh, there is still a problem. See, it has not accessed. The value is still not available. To do that, you have to instruct MuleSoft that from the literal mode, switch to expression mode. Now that's where we are going to begin with the concept of data weave. 
anything that you want to work with the expressions or sorry anything that you want to access the variable perform data transformations or manipulate the data then you need to work with expressions this is how you work with expressions you need to convert into an expression mode so from literal mode we have gone to uh, now an expression mode as you can see even the color has changed see where's it has something it has become gray orange orange i believe orange in color and then you're saying where's dot where a which means that access give me the value for this particular uh, key now it's deployed let me make a call see here now you have 10 the value has been the values available now if you want to say uh, print uh, value b as well then okay that's fine we'll print value b as well i'll say where's dot b but i don't need to i don't want to add it i'll say plus plus okay just like uh, concatenating let's see if that works i'm not sure i'll say this okay which means that all i'm trying to do is that where's a plus plus give a space maybe a space here and then plus plus where's b okay ideally you should have 10 space 20 let's see i have saved multiple times let me deploy deploy hit as you can see 10 and 20 or i can do better i'll say click on this logger i'll say um where's okay i'll say value value of variable a is this plus plus okay i'll say value of variable b is save it okay we will talk about this double quotes plus plus and again double quotes later but i just want to show how it how the value can be printed so let's make a call and you can see here value of va variable b is a is 10 and value of variable b is 20 okay that's how you set up uh, i can give some space here okay that's how you set a value extract a value <coughs> okay now let's do one thing let's try to remove the variable and see what happens let's scroll down remove the variable i want to remove this particular value where a remove variable where a and here i'm going to remove it so i'm going to save it i'm not going to switch to expression mode because this is a value that i'm going to remove here if you can see i'm not i've not switched to any expression mode and i'm going to print the same logger even here as well okay logger after removal of where a where a and here logger for where a and where b save it okay so it's getting deployed it's getting deployed and let's check it let's make a call and see what happens let's scroll up in the first one we got the value as 10 and 20 which is good and then if you can see here there is an error it's clear there's an error and in the error what's the error let's see what's the error it says that value for variable is we don't know we don't know the value for variable a value of variable a is null value of variable even in the va value of variable b is also not available is it because just because i i've dragged and drop remove variable does it remove everything so not sure let's check it out again i've just said remove variable a and i'll say setting name is this if i switch to expression mode it doesn't make any sense because what are you trying to set okay let's check that as well okay if i just switch to expression mode does it remove everything let's check that again okay it's getting deployed it's deployed let's see what happens now see here 
it doesn't make any sense okay it doesn't make any sense so there is no point in switching the expression mode here we are saying remove variable a and what if i don't give anything and save it see then there is an error you need to supply the information here and then say where a okay which means i need to remove the variable but why it's not printing variable b let me remove this and see if it's actually printing it okay value of variable b after removing a is okay it's getting deployed it's getting deployed hmm okay let's make a call let's see now there is no error which is good see value of variable a is 10 20 and b is after removing a is 20 we still hold that good so that's how you remove a variable okay that's how you remove a variable now if i try to print the variable a just see only variable a printing printing only a only a value of variable variable value of variable a after removing a is okay let's see now see it clearly shows unable to make a call because the variable a is removed okay but still i'm going to show it just for the sake of convenience of understanding it and then let's make a call arumpa there you go info info and error obvious right there is no a and hence it cannot print see it's null it cannot print so it's gone so it's uh, let's recap we set the value of a and b here we printed the value we removed this particular value here and we printed this b uh, this particular b which is this and it printed over here we try to print a but it was not available and that's how you set a value and remove a variable so that's it for this video now in the next video we are going to talk about set payload okay and then after completing set payload we are going to talk about mule for message structure what is mule for message structure and that's what we are going to talk about in upcoming sessions so i hope you understood how to set a value and remove a variable how to set a variable and remove a variable now if you ask me manju what if you have 10000 variables do i need to drag and drop 10000 connectors <laughs> well even that was the same question even i had asked and after seeing after reading the document for the first time on set variable i kind of made up my mind saying that no mulesoft is not a tool that i want to work wow, i cannot drag and drop 10000 connectors that's that's pure madness but guys i'm telling you there is a way how we can work it out only with single connector and uh, that's the beauty of it we are going to eventually see all of that when we talk about data weave until that yeah uh, i hope you had a great learning see you guys in the next tutorial thank you